Prime Minister Scott Morrison has announced Australia has boosted its vaccine rollout with thousands of doses landing on our shores. Political reporter Taylor Aiken is live in Canberra. Good morning, Taylor. This is some good news. It is, Anne. Good morning. Good morning. While touring the TGA this morning, Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced Australia had secured thousands of extra doses of the AstraZeneca and Pfizer vaccines. This comes just days after 250,000 doses were blocked by officials in Italy amid a growing stout between the EU and AstraZeneca over supply issues. That forced Australian officials to work around the clock to secure this new deal and keep the rollout going. And that brings to a total of 1.3 million, 1.3 million doses of both the AstraZeneca and the Pfizer vaccine here in the country. And yesterday we went past the mark where 100,000 of those have always already been jabbed into the arms of Australians. These new doses will stem the gap between now and when the CSL plant in Melbourne begins its local rollout from the 22nd of March, producing around a million doses a week that will form a critical part of phase 2A and 2B of Australia's vaccination rollout. And Taylor Health Minister Greg Hunt remains in hospital. Yeah, that's right, Anne. He's battling an infection in his leg. The health minister was admitted to a Sydney hospital yesterday afternoon with tests confirming he's suffering cellulitis, a type of bacterial infection in his leg. His office has confirmed he will be discharged in a couple of days and is being treated with antibiotics and fluid. He joins a growing list of ministers currently on leave, including Defence Minister Linda Reynolds and Attorney General, but the health minister is expected to be back in time for when Parliament resumes next week. Anne? Taylor Reckon in Canberra. Thank you, Taylor.